Hi everyone and welcome to Poppy DIY Crafts. Today we're doing something new. I have a Tea Expert plaster craft kit to try. This was sent to me from Tea Expert, so thank you so much. This is going to be my first time using plaster, but I don't think this is regular plaster. This is very fine plaster and many crafters use it as a replacement for Jasmine Knight. I haven't used either type of materials, but I'm really interested in trying. So let's take a look. It says here this is a 10 to 3 ratio using only water and it only takes 30 minutes to demold. Inside I see three silicone tray molds. We got our plaster. This is one kilo, so you get a lot. You get two measuring cups, a scooper, some paint brushes, some paint. I think these are gloves. Two stir sticks and some fine grit sandpaper. In addition, I was also sent a silicone resin measuring cups and toolkit. So you can get both of these on Amazon. Go down to the description for the links. So in here we get some gloves, three large stir sticks, ooh, a silicone spreader, a silicone mat for your workspace. One is actually pretty big. Two large measuring cups. These are 250 mils. Two stir sticks. Two medium sized cups. These are 100 mils. And four tiny cups. These are perfect for mixing colors. And there's more. Here are some pipettes. These are disposable pipettes. Oh, and a large silicone bowl. This one is 600 mils. So with these two kits, you have everything you need to get started either with plaster or with epoxy resin. Now we're going to set up the trays. So for the large trays, I'm going to be using these large glass pieces. I picked these up from Michaels or you can get them from any craft stores. They're just vase fillers. And so what I'm going to do is put them on the big tray like this. And then for another tray, we're going to use the smaller rocks. So I don't know how well these will show up, but let's give it a try. And what I'm going to do is actually put it in the tray first. So I'm going to put a thin layer and pick out the large pieces. So hopefully the plaster will just go in between the cracks and hold it in place. And the other one, I'm not going to put any fillers in there. I'm just going to pour in the plaster. But we're going to color it with some of this colorant. Now let's measure the plaster. And this is a 10 to 3 ratio. I'm going to use this scooper. So that's 21, 48, 75, 104. Let's go ahead and take some out. So we have 100 grams of the plaster. Let's go ahead and add the water. Okay, that's not a lot of water. Okay, and let's stir it well. So this has a 30 minute cure time, which tells me that I have very little working time too. So let's stir it real quick, make sure it's nice and mixed, and then pour right away. I don't think I made enough. This is so little. And since I've never used this before, I don't know if I should be watching out for bubbles or if the bubbles rise to the top or not. So this is going to be a very interesting experiment. I'm just scraping the bottom, make sure that we get everything. And there's no smell to this. And also it's very liquidy, so it's not very thick. So first one, let's do this one since I don't have a whole lot. That was enough for one dish. Let's pop the bubbles. And let's make more.
Here's a second batch. Oh no, I saw a lump. What should I do about the lumps? Did I break it apart? So I'm getting lumps because I think I put quite a lot of powder and maybe I'm just not stirring long enough. So this time I made 200 grams and I know it's easy. So for the next batch, I need another 100 mils. I'm going to add the colors. Give it a good stir. I kind of want a marbly effect, so I'm not going to stir it too much. Alright, now we wait for it to set. Alright everyone, so it's been 30 minutes and we are now ready to demold. So here is our first one, the round one with the rocks, little silver rocks. Oh, this is really cool, look at this. So you can see a lot of the rocks came through, but we also have a lot of holes. So this is where the liquid couldn't seep in. But I really like it like this. So you can see some gaps here. This is really cool texture. But if you want it to be filled in, what you can do is just add a very thin layer of regular epoxy resin and then it'll be nice and smooth. Here is our oval plate. This one turned out pretty good too. So we got a lot more of the materials seeping through underneath the rocks, but you can still see a lot of the pink. I'm not too happy with how it's covering the rocks, so I don't think I'll use this method again. I think next time what I would do is first pour a layer of clear resin and then on top I'll pour this layer. But this material is very smooth and as you saw I was just stirring the material really fast and um, I wasn't really trying to I wasn't trying to avoid bubbles but as you can see here this is absolutely smooth there are no bubbles anywhere even on the sides so it really looks like ceramic and it's so so smooth I really like it and as you can tell this is actually very very hard so you're not going to break it However, here on the edges, when it's very thin, you can break it off. And here's where you can take a piece of that sandpaper and just smooth out the edges. Look how easy it is. Super easy to do. This is super fast and easy to do. Okay, and here is our last plate. The one that we did with the ink. And here it is. So I do see a few bubbles here. Just two bubbles. So you can occasionally get bubbles, but not many. So as you can see here, out of this whole thing, only have two little bubbles. Alright everyone, so here are the three plates that we made today with our kit. I'm really loving this material. I just love how easy it is to work with. All you have to do is weigh it out and add water and you can demold in half an hour. So you can actually make quite a lot in a day. Alright everyone, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And you can also let me know if there's something else that you want to see me try. Alright, see you next time. Bye!